Okay, so here's the next part. So um, these are all the fonts I downloaded. Um, I moved them to my documents. Um, and I make a folder, like a subfolder always. And I call it like writing. I have one called flowers. I have animals. Um, that way I could kind of categorize everything. Seriously, I've downloaded so much free stuff lately. I have tons and tons of files. Um, let me know if you need anything. Uh, so I made this writing one. I made the cursive. Um, the reason I'll do like whatever they're called is I'll put every file in there and like some of them like this one comes with this file which when I double clicked it bam it shows me like all the fonts there that's like pretty cool because on the other one I have a fonts I have to like actually open the Etsy shop and see what um the fonts are because I always forget um so let's use um Patricia I think we'll try Patricia um, so we're going to go back to Cricut, sorry, Cricut Design Space. I don't want to close it, but, um, you would open it, new project, it's blank. I'm going to go upload. These are things I've uploaded before, as you can see. I tried uploading a font a little while ago, and I didn't like how it looked to show you a demo, so I am not using it. But let's say you're like, oh, I don't want this font no more. If you wanted to delete it, if you, um... Click on it. I think it's if, yeah, if you hit info, you can delete something and say yes, and it just removes it so it's not in your quick go to. Um, every time I do a project, I always save it. Um, so this is something I'm working on. It's Hello Kitty. So I actually opened Hello Kitty a few times and resaved it. And I'll show you this one later because um, it actually uploads different than how the fonts are going to upload. This one you got to like play with and mess with a little, but fonts are like really easy. Okay, so you're going to upload the image. You're going to hit browse. It's going to take you to your folder. Um, it might not take you back to that folder. So you might have to go to like this PC to look in your folders under documents. Um, wherever you downloaded it, that's where it would be. Um, sorry, I do not like this view. I like list better. Ah, there we go. Um, and what did I say I wanted to use? Let's use um, Patricia because it connects. So let's go down to Patricia. We're going to open it. Um, as you can see, there's different file types. Sorry, let me go in a little. Um, so there's different file types. So there's the true type, PDF, PNG, and SVG. I have found out with um, Cricut, uh, SVGs are the best images. They usually work really good. They're sharper. They're cleaner. But you can use a JPEG. You can use a PNG. Um, the true type, I'm not sure. A PDF, I don't think you can. I don't remember. I haven't done it in a while. But look, the SVG, you just double click it. It'll pop up to show you what's going to be downloaded. Right here where it says image name, you can call it the name if you want. You can leave it like this. Sometimes I go in, ignore the horrible nails. I haven't redone them. Um, I'll go here, Patricia font, and I'll rename it. Because um, just so that I know. Um, I don't know where it stores it, that it's like, it's patterns and name tags that you could use. So as you can see, it says... It's an image name. Um, you could even put tags. So like you could put like cursive font, um, things like that. So I think this is ways once you've saved it in your system, it's easier for you to find it. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not like super, super savvy. I'm trying. It's a learn by day process. Um, okay, so you hit save. And bam, see how it's popped up down here now? So now you need to click it so that you can insert it. Um, there you go. Um, it's going to insert it. It always comes out really huge when you insert things. So what I do is I just go here with, see it's like 145. I'll like downsize that so I could see it. And then once it's like pretty visible, sometimes I'll go, um, I'll shrink my screen so it's easier to read. Um, so then now it's here and I could see everything, right? And as you can see, like I'm clicking on M, but I'm still getting the whole thing highlighted. So I need to ungroup it. Okay, there you go. So it's ungrouped. So now watch when I click on M, I only get the letter M. So, okay, so let's do, um, I'm going to do my name. So I always just like to do this, right? Kind of grab the letters I need. I pull them to the side. Oops, I don't want the capital R, I want the little R. Um, I pull them to the side, I'll pull them to the top. I'll just pull them somewhere where like when I highlight everything else, I can make everything go away. I'm gonna need the A twice, so I'll just right click and copy. 
and then right click and paste. I'll paste it right there, but I just gotta move it. Nothing's lined up yet. Um, then what I could do with this is I don't need this anymore. Um, if you do, you keep it or whatever you want, but I don't need it no more, so I'm gonna delete it. So um, you could do where I highlight it at all and I hit delete, or, oh no, I needed a letter. I can undo it and everything comes back. Um, so now I could re-highlight and I could even just hit this X. So it's never gone away. And in worst case, if it did and you need it to do it again, just go back to upload. It will be there. You could click it and you can insert it. So it's not like it goes away forever. Um, and when you go like look later and say it's not there because you've loaded so many things recently, it's not gone forever. It's just not in your current, like the most recent you've done. So I'll highlight everything. I'll move it kind of here. I'll zoom back my screen because I want to be more at 100%. When I have everything highlighted, that's when I make it bigger because I like to see where I'm connecting my letters. So um, I like to line up everything. So I, I, I take full advantage of the grid and use it. Um, sometimes like on some of the characters, like the letters, maybe the capital isn't quite as big as the other one. So I'll even enlarge it if I need to because I may want it bigger. Like this one actually it looks really good if I enlarge it, right? So I can enlarge it. So it's actually a bigger size. See, that's the width of the letter. So when you go to your mat, if it's a three, that means it's one, two, three squares. Um, so the sizes are always these bigger numbers, not the smaller numbers. Okay. Just so you know, on your mat. Um, so I may want to even go like an even three. So I just go up here, highlight and hit three. Okay. It's cool. So now I'm at three. Um, I like to use one of the lines till I line it up and then I'm going to put, you know, my A. So I'm lining it up and then now I want to, cause they're cursive letters, I want to connect them the best I can. And that's why I zoomed it and I could even zoom in more because see how it's off? If I leave it like that, oh, sorry, let me go in closer. See how it's off? If I leave it like that, it's going to print off. So zoom in as much as you need to, to line it up. Um, sometimes it helps like I go here because that's where the other one is and see, look, bam, I'm a little bit better. Um, let's see, that's better. Oh yeah, it's way better. So. You see how I'm like just kind of making them line up on the line first, and then I gotta make them connect. Um, the R looks a little funny. Let's see. Maybe the R, you don't want it to quite be in the B. Yeah, we could do that. It's not too bad, right? Um, so yeah, so see, I'm just connecting. And like I said, I wanna line them up. Um, sometimes like they don't line up great because they line up better like this. Like maybe my R would be better a little bit higher. Maybe, uh, no, it doesn't look better lower. It actually looked okay where it was. So I'm gonna undo and it should go back to where I had it. Perfect. Okay, so I'm lining them up the best I can. Mm, lost my other letters, they're over here. Just gotta scroll over. I'll scroll over, bring them back, and then I'll scroll back. I'm sorry, you didn't, can't see that. That little thing is your little scroll thing. Um, so again, just lining up the letters, I get them to connect the best I can, especially like on, um, these ones where it's like that, you want to make sure you don't see it, but the harder ones is like I said, this R, um, like the B and the A. So now I'm going to zoom out because I don't need it that big anymore. So now you want to make sure you're all the way over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole thing. I am going to group it. I, oops, sorry. So see right here where it says group, ungroup, you want to make sure you group it. And then down here, there should be an attach. So when you attach it, that makes sure it prints all on one page. So if you have like five things you're printing and you have five different pages you want, attach those items. Um, I do more videos like that later. So I want to attach them. And this is what I was talking about welding them. So with letters like this, remember those little lines? If you don't weld it, you can see they cut out still the lines. So it would still cut out the space here, the space here. So if you hit weld, it makes them a solid piece. Um, did that work? Did I hit it? Okay, there. Yeah, it takes a second to think. Um, you can unweld it if like you're like, oh crap, I need to go back and add something. You can unattach it. But see now, the whole thing is attached no matter where I click. 
it's all attached. There's no cut lines. So now I would go make it and it's all on one page. And this is how big it's going to be. So if you're like, crap, that's really big. I don't want it that big or I want it bigger. I want it the full 12. You just go back and now because you have it in one, you can adjust it. So I always will put it like to the edge here and go to 12, just a rule of thumb. Um, even though it says 12 inches, you don't quite have the 12 inches. You um, have to go in a little, so like 11 and a quarter. Um, 11 and a half is actually where I usually go. And this is why, because when you go make it, see how it's um, cut off here? It's got this little tiny room around it. So, so that's why you don't quite get 12 inches. So um, sometimes when you go over, it'll flip the image sideways. But because my mat's a 12 by 12 right now, it'll flip it sideways, but then it'll tell me I need longer paper. So watch, I'll show you that. Um, so if I go a little over and I hit make it, see now it's sideways and it's telling me I need to get bigger paper. There's bigger mats and stuff and see it's telling me at least one of your images is larger than that width. So select okay. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want it that big. Um, so now I could go smaller, I could go what size I want, I can make it, um, and there you go. Um, so then you can make it, continue, and then it's gonna tell you, you know, it's gonna connect to your printer. And one thing I've learned is this is where it says what your material is. If by chance you're using, um, I don't know what Cricut you have, but let me know, because if you have the same one I have, it has a little knob. If you're unsure of the paper, go to the customize part on the dial and choose customize because then you have so much more to choose from. Um, I was only going with basic to vinyl and cardstock and I kind of think that's where I broke my machine because I went with cardstock and I had a glitter and I, I think the glitter was just too much for my needle. Um, but then I discovered after when I went customize, there's a cardstock option for glitter. Um, so then you would just uh, put your paper in and print it and you, I'm sure you know how to do that. Um, so hopefully this video helps you. Let me know if you have questions on anything else. Like I said, I can make you plenty other videos of things I do. I'll probably make you one where I did like the Hello Kitty. That way you could see what I did with that. All right. Thanks. Bye.